Okay, we're on part three on our tutorial. And I did my ear flaps as you can see right here. There's one, there's two. Hope your guys look so just like mine. And now we're gonna go around with the rim. I'm gonna change my color and put pink so I can go around and like you can use whatever color you desire if they want it just black or blue or any color for boy or girl. I'm gonna go with pink because this is gonna be for a girl. And I'm gonna start at the end of where my ear flap is and where the head, um, the end of the beanie is. So here's the beginning of the ear flap and here's the beanie. I'm gonna go in the white part where the beanie's at, attach my yarn. Chain up one. And for this project, I think I'm just gonna do a half double crochet all the way around. So here, we're gonna wrap the yarn around our hook, go into the next stitch, pull through, wrap the yarn around, and pull through all three. That's a half double crochet, and we're gonna do this all the way around. So continue going across with me until we get to the other side of the ear flap. And if you hear the noising in the back, I have the fan on. It's extremely hot here in California right now. So it's summertime. And yes, I'm making beanies in the summer, getting ready for the winter. So. Okay, we're at our end here. I'm going to put the last one into that last one where it's attached to the yarn, as you can see here. The ear flap, the green, the green, the black yarn. <laughs> okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to half double crochet all the way up here, going into each color. So you go into the black. Ah! It's going to be like each stitch. Now go into the white. And it doesn't matter. You don't have to really get. Just try to get the edge here. You're going to go in the black, which is like the white part of it. And you're going to each row. Going all the way up. Then it's black. Then it's white. Black. And we'll get right in there. Then white, then black, then white. I'm going each row. And the last one, black, and then white again. And for this white one, I want to get right on top of here and get right there, the very top of it. And I'm going to put two on the top. Now we're going to work along the other side. So turn your beanie around. And we're going to go in each color too along this side. So we're going to get into the white right here. Then the black. White. black and you're just trying to get into the edging right there you're not really it doesn't really matter as long as you're getting the yarns and if you have those strands like this from the straggler just go ahead and cut them off white black white black white and got another one right here. And black. 
is the last one, which is going to be at the very end of the beanie. Now we're going to work along the other side of the beanie. And we're going to get at that very edge as well and do the same thing like we did to the other air flap going into each color so we're going to go into the black part then the white black white black white black white, black, white, black, if I can get in there, there we go, and the very top again, put two, so you're going to look for that stitch, there we go, one, and two, and work along the other side. We ended up with black, white, black, I'm skipping the color. Okay. Kind of hard to see. We're back at the end here. We're going to slip stitch this from the very top and fasten off. I like to pull my through and tug. Now I'm just going to take my needle here and I'm going to weave in the ends on the top here and I like to go into the back the stitches right here see those two lines that are coming up I like to weave my ends in there so it's like right underneath the whole thing so. just like if you're crocheting over the loose stragglers that's pretty much where you're going to be Pulling these things in. That's good enough for me. I'm going to cut the rest off. Any loose ends, like right here, I have some. You just want to cut them off. And I got one more right here. There we go. Now, as you can see, my beanie is almost done here, and I hope yours looks as good as mine. Here's the beanie. Now we're going to start on the face. But before we start on the face, we're going to put the little tassels at the end here. So the tassels. I like to use all the colors I'm using in the beanie. You could do whatever you like. I'm going to use the black, the white, and the pink. So, what I like to do is I like to get the pink, here is the white, and the black. And I like to get all three colors, and I like to pull as long as my arms can reach out, like if you're giving a big old hug to a 
tree or something that like extend your arms across your body and that's pretty much the length that you want to get so I'm getting tangled up here you can go as long as you want but that's like pretty much what I do and then I just cut it at the end and there it is right there so now what I do is I fold the strings in half there's my ends here and I even it out as much as I can and the other part is going to be like a loop side so that loop side I like to do is where we put two in on the very end right here you see the two we're going to go on one side add this in there and wrap the yarn around and go through just like so but I think I only got one yeah let me do that again <laughs> and if you make this mistake this is how easy it is to release okay and you want to go through all three loops see that so it could be right on there there we go now I'm going to do that again right here and at the end. So I'm putting three in. So do the same thing with me. Cut your yarn. Extend your arms. Cut. Fold in half. Make that other loop at the very end. Attach your yarn. And make sure you go through all three of those loops. That's my second one, and I'm going to put one more. I like mine thick, I don't like mine thin. Okay. Fold in half. The next little loop here. And I'm going to pull it through. Now, just like you'll do a braid, that's what I do here. I'm just going to braid them. And the braid is so simple. You're going to take the end here, bring it in the middle. Pull the other one to the side. Take this side, bring it to the middle. Put it in the side. Take the other one, and you're going back and forth, just like so. And you're just doing that over and over. See how it crisscrosses? You're just bringing the sides in. If you worked on that side, then you go on this side. So that's how you do a braid. I like mine nice and tight, so I start from here and I hold it down. Bring in the other side. The other side. And you make sure you bring the other side to the, the middle part on the other side. So you're crisscrossing. And I like to go down the length of the yarn that we cut. I like to pull the string out so it doesn't get tangled either. So I'm combing it. See with my finger, I just comb it straight down.
Okay, so that's a good length that I like. You can make it shorter or longer. I'm going to go with this length right here. That's pretty long, as you can see here. I like, I want it long this time. So I'm going to dress this with the black yarn. So what I do is I take a little bit of the yarn and I cut it off here. This is just a little strand, as you can see here. And I hold one side and I'm just going to keep on wrapping that over. Oops. Okay, there we go. And you want to wrap it nice and tight all the way around. So that's good enough for me and I'm going to just tie it just like so and with my loose ends I get my hook and I'm going to go from the crochet part all the way down to where it's loose and go right into where we did the little black yarn and pull that through and do it to the second one as well Now with the loose strands, I just like to cut a length that I like. That's about two inches, which I cut off. Like not from two inches, I cut the rest of it off. And save this. If you do not have the stuffing that goes inside the snout, this is perfect for it. Loose ends is perfect for the snout on this beanie. So do the same thing on the other side and come back to part 4 on this tutorial where we can start doing the snout.